Well, you missed it. The meal was great. We're going <laughs> home. Goodbye. Yes. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking about it. Hi, I'm Larry Bly. I'm Laban Johnson. And welcome to Cooking Cheap. And we're here today <laughs> to enlighten your life and tell you all of the dumb and ignorant things you've been doing so you won't do them anymore. Of course, we've done a few things That's ourselves. Right. Listen to this. Dear guys, I would like numbers 1 through 806. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get these for my grandmother. A poor woman will rupture herself. She tries to pick up this load of uh, recipes. <laughs> anyway, it says, uh, for my mother and me, you two look like you're having real fun on <laughs> cooking those yeah, delicious are. foods. The reason I'm asking for the recipes number one through 806 <laughs> is because I didn't start watching until it got, I got bored with all those other stupid sports and other channels. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Truly yours, yours truly, Ray Yearly of Coburn, Virginia. Well, thank you, Ray. And Ray, we're going to try and, and stuff all three <laughs> or four hundred of them in this little envelope uh -huh. and send them back to you. Listen, I got to tell you, talking about rupturing yourself. The other night, I, I, you know, was working at that theater that I work in. I'm doing a play, mm -hmm. and I decided I. We're rehearsing in this room that's just completely carpeted and it's very luxurious and unusual because we don't usually have any place decent, you know, to work in. And I was down on the floor kind of resting and I did a sit up. Now, I haven't done a sit up for a long time. I would have liked for to have years, seen that. I did a sit up. Did that, one. That I would thought have been I like could do two or three. See but a beached whale. <laughs> what? I thought I could do two or three, but I couldn't. Did one. And I want to tell you, I think I pulled everything loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Across my yeah. <laughs> gut us largest down here. <laughs> and uh, it was just terrible. Well, I'm still in severe pain. We're, we're all in, in, internally grateful. Does everybody want to see? No. no. <laughs> Good heavens. I want to show you why this woman's name I have decided is Frances Short. <laughs> this letter. <laughs> she says, Frances Short of Richlands, Virginia writes, I'm going to turn around, says, love your program. You cook just like I do. Kind of messy. Well, That's the whole letter right there. Thank you, Francis. That Thank was you very much. Real right. short. Right. Bye. Bye. We got a fine letter here from the University of North Carolina Center for Public Television Ooh. from Lisa Davila. Hmm. Said, I must tell you that I saw the Hawaiian holiday episode of your series, and I think your cooking show should be the standard by which all cooking shows should be measured. Send that to Arkansas. I will. Your talent and humor is perfect for television. And she wants an uh, autographed picture of us and says that she would, uh, will assure us that it will be hung in the tape room and not used as a dartboard. Yeah, I've seen tape <laughs> rooms before. I know what they use pictures for. They got uh, ours in the back tape room back here, and they yeah. use it for that. Right by where they keep those films they show at night. And the old picture, <laughs> and the old picture of Pam. <laughs> <laughs> we better go cook <laughs> before we get ourselves any right. more trouble. Yeah, especially that well, old picture already. of Pam or picture of old Pam. I'm <laughs> gonna do my laundry here. I, I I've just got to wring out these clothes. You just <laughs> you're gonna feel real fun if your finger goes down in there, boy. Let me do one thing, and then I'll let you do one thing, and then oh, you right. let me do one thing, then I'll oh, let you, you do one thing. Oh, you brought some noodles. Well, we both have no, excellent taste. We, we do did. not shop together. This no. is amazing. Just right to. Ripley's, believe it or not, care of this station. Now, wait a minute. What? How much did you pay for this? Well, well, there's the price right there. They don't write them on here anymore. 99 cents? 79 cents. Wow. Well, well Lord, obviously we, we shopped at a different Kroger store. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> now, open up these egg noodles. I got some water boiling. And we're going to just take some and throw a hunk of it in there. Miss, Miss Doris and I fished around looking for a, <laughs> a, bigger, a bigger receptacle to put this in. And oh, look at what I'm doing again. Oh, oh you put have your ruined knife another in the good, fine knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I've ruined it, I may as well have some fun with it. <laughs> anyway, let's see if it still works. <laughs> it does, it does. We're going to boil true, some true. noodles, and also I have some frozen spinach. And I've put that in there, and I've, I've, I've what have I done with it? I don't it? know. What well, it says, uh, <laughs> according to the directions on the package, which I have since thrown away, you just bring it to a boil is all you do. 
And then we're going to, what we'll do is, as soon as the noodles get finished boiling, we're going to drain both of these out, and then we'll start something else. And now Laban builds Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> right. All right. I have got here three cups of flour, and I might need some more, and two eggs, which I'm going to whip up real fast with my whisk. And That's a right cute little mountain that you've got there. Uh-huh. Can we get a startling overhead of that? That's beautiful, that little mountain. That, that little mountain. Going to climb that mountain. mountain. <laughs> I don't know what the right, words now, to this. I'm just going to pour there the it is. egg right down into and, that. And there you see that's Mount into, Vesuvius. Into it's the cone. Doing its thing uh, well, there. Well, that looks like a huge fried egg. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to diddle it around in here <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And until I can make up. <laughs> it lit a little I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, come on. Don't get over there. Oh, whoops. I'm going to do. A, Almost had a meltdown. <laughs> I'm going to make egg noodles here. Is that what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Well, now, wait a minute. I don't understand something. If well, you're going to make egg noodles, why did you buy egg noodles? I just wanted people to see what a pre-made noodle looked like. And then in case something went wrong, <laughs> I'd <had> <laughs> Oh, so that's the uh, name of the game, huh? Yes. Johnson, I've noticed he's got a little conservative on the show. He doesn't take as many chances as he used to. <laughs> now, uh, I don't blame you. He's had so many terrible things happen uh -huh. on yeah. the program. Yes, just <laughs> had a week. Last week was a good example for both of us, I might add. How long do you let uh, egg noodles go when until, they're, until they're, they're al dente? Yes, until you can tell they're done. Well, of course, you know, we have our old tried and true method. And that is, in case you've missed this program 15 times in the past, if it stays up on the wall, then that means it's done. And it didn't, so it's not. Well, now, always make sure you pick them up because people come and step in them. And mm -hmm. Now, what are you doing now? Now, I've just got some soft dough here, where this, and I'm working the, the flour into the egg mixture. <laughs> And I started out with three cups of flour and two eggs, and it, it might be that I really should have only had two cups of flour and two eggs, but somehow I usually like it a little bit with a little more flour here. Listen to them. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> I've seen you uh, play with dough on uh -huh. this program before. <laughs> I don't blame it. You may as well just go on back, Johnson, and get out there. Those no. prefab ones you bought and save us all a lot uh, of trouble, a lot of misery, well, now, toil I, and tribulation. Well, I've never seen anybody make such awful faces when they're working with dough. Well, it hurts. Uh, <laughs> oh, my heavens. You know, it I've got this right terrible bad. pull down here in my belly. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about it. Big right, deal. Now, he gets up off the floor one time in his life, and we have to hear about it for well, a week. you know, what can I do? Now, all this right, I now, want to, I've never seen one of these actually this work This is a up pasta close. machine. Now, my Aunt Rowena, who makes the best egg noodles I've ever had in my entire life, she is death on the egg noodles. My daddy used to be real good on egg uh, noodles, too. Would not approve of this machine. Now, she just roll them out, and I'll show you in a little while how to cut them. Uh, <laughs> what is Doris? People just kind of wander in and out on the set. Uh -huh. now, what, what is it? Feed from the top? And Now, what's it doing? It's just rolling the dough. It's, this is, you do this instead of kneading it. Well, it sure doesn't look very good. Well, give it a chance. Give it a chance. Well, why does it kind of come out in little... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's coming out in little blobs. Well, it will you, until you, you run it through here and the egg has a chance oh, to... Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. So you're just... Uh... This is just like kneading it over uh, and over again. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you'll see... Oh, yeah, a little, little flavor. <laughs> okay. Going through again, it's looking prettier every time it goes through. It's just amazing. Yeah, that's real neat. Don't get your fingers in there, Johnson. Oh, I'm wonder. powerfully worried about you. You know, we had a next door. You remember when they used to have those old washing machines with the... With yes. Things? Well, one, oh, of the, I, one of the French ladies next door, <laughs> one time she was yelling at the kid and uh -huh. she was doing that and got her hair in that thing <laughs> and got hung up in it for about an hour. Oh no, how terrible. It's a sad story, Did really she a very cut her funny hair story. Off? Oh yeah, they had to, she had a big bald spot on the side of her head. I always tried to run my brother's fingers through here. Mm -hmm. was well, always... I believe one of them's still in there. 
Uh, no, that I mean of the wash. Oh, oh, oh I now, see. Now, if you've got other things to do, I've got Yeah, that's real this, exciting, Johnson. Yeah, I've got to roll this dough through here a lot, so you just go, go right on. Well, my noodles is ready. They're ready. Oh, well, good. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to drain it in this colander. I'll be right back. Well, that sure is interesting. Now, <laughs> well, I didn't say it would be interesting. I just said I had to do it. <sighs> do you rinse your noodles? I beg your pardon. Do you rinse your noodles? <laughs> no, I don't usually. You know, but, macaroni, a lot of times, you have to rinse it because yeah. it gets real starchy. Uh-huh. I was just wondering. No. Just trying to make a little conversation. Oh, I thought you were trying to. The show's to, gotten so dull. I, I thought you were making fun of me. No, Do no, I rinse no, my no, noodles? No. You know, like. Oh, I also have to rinse my, I also have to, are you supposed to rinse this stuff out, this, this, just drain it? She says, just drain it. I don't know. See, now that I got doors, I don't even read these recipes anymore. I, I don't need to. I'm just going to stick those in there. They're all going to go in the same pot. What difference does it I make? I don't know. Drain them all out in the same colander if you want to. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to let that in there. You're not going to throw anything in the uh, thing, are you? Because my know. stuff's in there. You I don't, don't throw anything all in right, there. I won't. <laughs> Even though I'm sorely tempted. <laughs> now, we're going to take another pan here, and we're going to put it on. Now, there. look at that. Oh, ye of little faith. You could have done that with a, they, they have a little thing called a rolling pin. It would have taken about one minute. No. I could do it. You know I can. Well, You've seen me do it before. But that's all right. I mean, that's fine. It's I know just, it's, it's real fine. pretty. Yeah, it it's is. real pretty. It is good looking. <laughs> now I'm going to take a little margarine and put it in here and heat this pan up because what we're getting ready to do is throw a whole bunch of stuff together in here. Now that we've pre-cooked our noodles and our, uh, we just used ordinary old uh, uh, spinach. This is the. In fact, this recipe calls for this. By the way, this was sent in by Karen Jones of Dublin, Virginia. She said just use ordinary old frozen chopped spinach. And you, you prepare it according to the directions, which is throw it in a little bit of water and boil the stuff. And now what we're going to do is going to heat up a pan and we're going to start putting this whole thing together. This is called smoked sausage with spinach sauce. I'd forgot to tell everybody what it was. I was so nervous about going on, I forgot to tell you <laughs> what it is there. Is it going through the rinse cycle yet, oh, Johnson? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just getting prettier and prettier. Yeah, it's got a lot of texture. I'm now gradually... Now, just, what are you doing? Are you squeezing it I'm down? I'm squeezing it down to a thinner sheet. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to take a little smoked sausage. Oh, You've we were all seen you this. Would. We've all gotten these for Christmas at one time or another, I'm sure. These are smoked sausages. And just going to start cutting those into bite-sized units. All right? A little bite-sized pieces. Do you think I should take the casings off of this stuff or is it supposed to be left off? I don't know. Can you imagine it making a difference? Real soft. Yeah, that's all right. I'm going to cut those real thin because you, you know you don't you don't want to be talking to someone at the dinner table and get a you know a great big hunk caught in your mouth. So you just slice them real thin. That's what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for my, my pan to heat up. Now look at that beautiful noodle dough. Wow. I don't know whether to eat it or take a picture of it. Well, it is just so gorgeous. Let me show you while we're, uh, you're cutting up your uh, sausage there, how you do the old-fashioned noodles. You have your dough rolled out like this, and you just... Oh, a little trick from... Uh, the past here. I uh -huh. haven't seen this done in a long time. You just roll it up like that. I'll My daddy here. was really good at this too. He really was. And but you, I want, you I'd just, like to show you sometime how he did his. You just uh, roll it up and cut it like that and you have your noodles. Now you really ought to let the uh, the, the noodles dry out if you're going to keep them for any time. And we used to hang them over a broomstick or lay them out on a tea towel. Or you could do it on parchment paper, too. I just remembered why you shouldn't put this all together. Why is that? <laughs> because you're supposed to add the noodles last. But that's oh. all right. So that worked out pretty good. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Have fun in the kitchen like Laban and I do. 
Now we're going to start adding all this stuff. I've got a hot skillet going and I've just put in, you can see there, just put in some of the sausage and now we're going to start adding all the other goodies that go in there too. It calls for a quarter cup of margarine, that's what it's in, a cup of ricotta cheese. That's Woo. about one of these containers. All right, And that has been herme hermetically sealed for my protection against myself and this program. All right, just a good wad of that in there. We'll do just fine. That's close enough for us and the guys in the back who will end up eating it. A uh, quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Boom. Quarter of a cup of whipping cream. You can get that right in there. That's just ordinary old mm. Baldens. Same people make the glue. <laughs> quarter of a teaspoon. Do you know why that came to be, by the way? Why? How, oh, yeah. Did it's you ever used, wonder about use it? Use the byproducts. Yeah, that's right, because mm -hmm. Elmer's glue is made out of milk, and right. that's why your cattle go crazy over it if you have it open right. around or, your cat. And also the hides. I have a cat that's hooked yeah. on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Last time I saw it, eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. That's about enough. And a half a pound of smoked sausage chopped bite size. And there we go. And then all you do is just that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to throw this handful of <laughs> noodles. You didn't sound that like I you meant that. Cut, ooh, that I cut up down in the hot chicken stock. And if everybody wants to look over here for a minute, I'll hot show you. Sock. Stock. <laughs> I'm going to cut some noodles like Larry used over here. Do you know, you want to see how my, oh my heaven, now look at that. These are the, now this that's is what amazing. The, this is what the noodles look like after you, you can run the wide ones. You know how my daddy used to do them? How do you, how do you used well, to do them? Well, if I can find a rolling pin. I don't know if we got one. I bring mine in from home. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Oh, we got oh, a rolling Doris pin. Oh, Doris has got one. Got a rolling well, pin. Here's some dough. Here. My daddy used to take them like this. I believe that stuff is right. Right hard. This is what I get for getting into Johnson's recipe. <laughs> anyway, he used to roll them out real thin like this, but except they weren't quite that thick. <laughs> and then he uh -huh. would, and then he would take a knife and you'd do this. Uh huh. See? Yeah. This is a fast way of doing noodles. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. And then you, however long you want them to be in this All direction, right. and that would work out real lovely. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I think maybe I'll run these through the processor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you had to do it a certain particular way, and uh -huh. this stuff is ready. It is hot. I'm going to pull it off because we don't want it to get uh, Bernie on the bottom. You remember Bernie. Yeah. I'm supposed to read what the pig says. There's a pig in here. What does it say? Can I say? It says, this place looks like a pig style. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Okay, now I got my noodles on standby. And boy, do they look like a boy, mess. I'm you. I think I'm going to have to put some water on them and bring them back to life again. <laughs> oh, we need to have the recipe. Oh, the recipe. Right, bring it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't wait on this us. This second batch of noodle dough Smoke is sausage. just not doing too good. I, I can there. tell you that before I even saw them go in. Sent in by Kara Jones, Dublin, Virginia. One 16 ounce pack of uh, egg noodles right out of the store. Cook them. Don't forget that. It's pretty important. One 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach. Cook it according to the directions on the package. Quarter of a cup of margarine. Cup of ricotta cheese. Quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Quarter cup of whipping cream. A half teaspoon salt. Eight teaspoon nutmeg. Half pound of smoked sausage. Chopped bite size. Little pieces so you can eat them. That's it. Is that all? And egg noodles, two eggs, four cups of flour, actually should be two cups of flour, and a teaspoon of salt, or a tablespoon. I'm gonna, while you're just messing around over there, I'm gonna put our noodles out on the table. All right. So that I just, this says mix it in with the noodle. Well, maybe I will do that. All right. I think I'll do what the recipe says for a change. Now it says you add them. But you can do it either way. You can put it on the plate for a nice little presentation and just pour this stuff over top of your noodles. But for some reason, this says mix this stuff in with it. So being that my noodles had dried out anyway, because <laughs> they laid around so long, 
I'm just going to do what the recipe says. I'm just going to mix the noodles right in there. Doesn't that look good, Levin? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, it's time for the kitchen witch. Oh, where is she? Where? Bring her in here. Where in the world is she? It's very colorful, don't you think? I think it's very colorful. Very pretty. We're just waiting for the kitchen. Oh, here she is. Oh, do you want to read it there while I'm cranking? J.C. Penny. Dear guys, every time I go in the kitchen to help my wife, she tells me to butt out. <laughs> my question is, have you got a recipe for... <laughs> I know I shouldn't have paused here, and now I'm in big trouble. If you got a recipe for butt, that way I can cook her goose. Fred Molly. Fred Manley. Fred, Fred Manley of Bo Peep, Wisconsin. <laughs> Next week, <laughs> pork butt. <laughs> a Boston pork butt. Oh. It doesn't sound as bad. But anyway, what, what are you doing now? Well, for? I want to clean this out so Do I Do you can... need it? I thought maybe I'd drain my noodles. Oh, okay. If well, it's just got noodles in there. I know, but these old store-bought noodles. Uh, oh, would you listen. hand me that uh, brown bowl over there? I want to have something to put my oh, chicken oh, stock oh, into oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it. I'm a little worried about him. Oh, quick, hurry. <sighs> yeah! Oh, it hurts so bad. Uh, Woo! Lousy. They do look right pretty. They do, they do. They do, they do. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful noodles. Well, you know, if we'd had a sense, what we'd have done is this recipe without the noodles in it, and we'd uh -huh. put it on your homemade noodles. Uh-huh. That would have been well, good. Well, yeah, you didn't think of that. Well, I don't know. You, know, <laughs> you just Feeble think about what you I can guess. while you can do it. Uh -huh. Oh, and I've got noodle noodle do all over my hands. <laughs> thank you. Let me have What do you want? What am I supposed yeah, to I do? Oh. I just want to go home. I'm tired. All right, thank you. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. No, that's true. We could have. We could have put sure. this over your noodles. <sighs> well, I don't want to use up too many of these noodles. We might need them again. <laughs> winky, <Yeah>. winky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know when a lot of people come over and ask for them. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, me. Well, it sure is colorful, and where's my fork? I don't know. Well, they've cheated me again. <coughs> we probably took it with us accidentally. Oh, boy, this looks so good. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I only get one piece of sausage? And it sure is tough. No. Mm. Mm. I didn't make the sausage. I didn't have anything to do oh, with it. Oh, it's delicious. It is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It really is. Let me try one. Are these your homemade noodles? Yeah. Mmm. Rubbery. <laughs> <laughs> well, you dog. No, no, no. They really, they have a very distinctive taste. They're quite good. They really are. And they, they I say rubbery, but they have a little oomph to them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a lot better than those store-bought jobs. Bye. We got to go.